Hi everybody, welcome back uh, to the channel. And uh, as per my commitment, I'm back with you live again today. And uh, today I'm doing a, a session on uh, CAT score versus percentile, a deeper session. I, of course, I did a session yesterday where I gave you my, my initial thoughts on, on the same. Just, just waiting for more people to enter before I, before I start off, uh, uh, then enter the live, live chat or the live uh, uh, broadcast before, before I start off. So, I had done this I had done this. But my points were more or less about uh, my initial thoughts. My, my thoughts had not got concretized because I just came out of the paper and immediately went, went uh, live with, with uh, yesterday's uh, thinking. With, with the image, immediate thoughts that I had after, uh, uh, after yesterday. So today I got some time to reflect, some time to uh, think about it. And uh, while I'll still stick to the numbers I have mentioned yesterday, today's session I am basically going through. Uh, hi, good evening everybody. So today's session I am going to take you through a deeper analysis and my reflections about the CAT score versus percentile story, about how difficult the CAT was, what are the factors that are reducing the score and what are the factors that will increase the score with respect to last year and hence what do you what do i assume is the balance of of the number of people uh, balance in terms of what scores will happen at what percentile we're going to do a deep section analysis of each section and uh, towards the end uh, so stay stay till the end i'm going to do a bonus problem solve at the end which is a question yesterday i mean you when when you solve the paper you there are times at which you you're pretty happy with uh, a solution that you that you created or you thought through and uh, specifically since slot, slot 3 a uh, lot of people are talking about slot 3 as as the most difficult of the three slots um, uh, i also wanted to show you uh, for cat 22 aspirants and going forward into your other exams that uh, uh, that what i believe is is what the cat tests and what kind of thinking the cat rewards you for and uh, something that I always talk about in my classes and, uh, and what, whenever I advise students is that you can't be a very algebraic kind of solver uh, in, in this thing. You, you have to know the formulas, you have to know the algebra, but ultimately it's about a, 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 a strong feel for the numbers. Uh, and that's what uh, you, uh, you, you can actually, uh, the, the, the the, the logic, why I'm picking up this question is because everybody's talking about the cons being very lengthy. So how do you solve 20 questions in a, in a paper like this, 18, 20, 20 questions in a paper like this? That's what I'm showing you uh, in, this, uh, in, this, uh, 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 in this session. So, so warmed up now, I think there are 50 plus people in the, in the session, so let me start off. So I've, I've, as I said, I've done some work on this. And uh, what I've done here is I looked at, I mean, I randomly collected around 10, 12, uh, score sheets of last year and I wanted it as to be a sprinkling of different percentiles, uh, percentile ranges. So, <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll first analyze what the percentile values were at what scores uh, last year, uh, at different score points last year. Then we'll try to look at what the bands were in uh, for, for the different, for the major percentile markers, 50, 70, 80, 90, what percentiles are, we'll see that. Last year, and then we'll try to reason out. Dekho, uh, ultimately, I, I always say, when you're trying to predict how many score will come, when you have 1,80,000, 1,90,000, as many people have written the exact data, if you have exact data, then you have the exact data. Then you have the analysis, it will be estimated. But uh, I've been seeing, uh, uh, or people reported to me through the day, that it's not so much, it's not so much, I've found, I heard some ridiculous numbers from some uh, channels, etc., some Facebook groups, etc. So I thought that maybe I'll come in and explain the logic. Last year I had got, got it almost ditto uh, based on the logics uh, with respect to the percentiles that happened were very, very uh, close to my predictions. So uh, the prediction, I mean, I don't claim any, any clairvoyance or, uh, or vision inside this. I, would 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 look at gut feels plus not just the gut feels but but pure data, and then if you if you use this process, ki last year what are the bands, and this year do you think the band is going to go up or come down? So that's what if you look at if you look at it that way you pre, you hit upon a logic very clearly, which tells you ki what's going to happen, which tells you what's going to happen. Uh, uh, in 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 uh, terms of the actual percentiles this year, 
So if I look at the verbal, let's, let's look at some certain numbers. So the numbers I see is 11.28, 49.33 percentiles are last year. Hai, verbal section. 18.66, 19.84 your band was 73 to 76 percentile. That means 7 questions, pe, 75 percentile. Ke aspas tha tumhara. 4 questions correct, pe, 50 percentile. Hai. 23, 8 questions correct, without, without mistakes of course. 8 questions correct. If you get value for 8 questions correct, you're getting 83 percentile. Last year's numbers. Uh, 10 questions correct are taking you to 91, 92. 90, 91 to 93 percentile. So this is what last year's numbers were. 12 questions correct is 12, 13 questions correct is taking you to the 96 to 98 band. So if you get value for 12, 13 questions correct last year's exam, you're getting uh, 12 to 13. Uh, 12 to 13 uh, questions, uh, you, you're getting a, a, a 96 to 98 band. And uh, I had an, uh, one scorecard at 46.96, which means 47 marks, which is around 16 questions correct, which was 99.63. So 99 low, lay somewhere around, around 42, 43 marks last year. Right, so that means around 14 questions, all correct, if someone has done it. Yeah, 16, 17 questions kiya with two errors. 17 questions with two errors, so 99 percentile value. Hota. Now, when we, when we think about, uh, about this in the context of, uh, 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 in, in the case, in, in this, I'm just trying to read some of the comments here. Yeah, so, when, 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 but I'm not responding to the comments because I'm not on my phone or this thing. So, we'll have a separate session where I'll talk to you with, on a one-to-one -one basis, maybe tomorrow day after. So, uh, uh, when I look at, uh, at, at uh, trying to guesstimate what's going to happen this year, so, in, in verbal, in the verbal section, we will try to look at the factors that would affect the band. So, if we look at this band-wise, the verbal section, ko, so this is the band analysis for last year. 11, 12 marks per 50 percentile, 17, 18 per 70 percentile, 8, 20 pe, 8, 20 to 23 per 80 percentile, 27, 28 per 90 percentile, 30 per 93 percentile, 35, 36 per 96 percentile, 38 per 98 percentile, 42 ke aspas 99 percentile, and 45 ke aspas 90, 45 cross karo ko to 99.5 cross karo. This is the band uh, 